Hi, I'd like to present you Screen Shapes and Controls, an application which allows you to work with the predefined and custom shapes and also with Windows Forms Controls to create mockups. To add the shape, you would have to press this button here at the scene and once you have your uh, shape, you can uh, duplicate it and obtain as many shapes, as many new shapes as uh, you want. Let's uh, duplicate this one, duplicate it again, and once again to create a simple uh, face. Then you can change the color using the color picker, this one, which allows more uh, options, or using the quick color picker which appears here on the right side. Let's change the color of the eyes, make it red, and then the color of the nose and the mouth. Once you have uh, a scene made out of uh, many shapes, you can um, save it on your desktop as an image and um, it will be saved under the PNG format which allows uh, the image to have transparency and uh, you can also um, use the scene controller to move it a little bit to actually you can move it anywhere you want but I'll move it a little bit to the left and uh, I can increase the speed here. By moving it, I can also work on this part here, where I can draw another face. If you want to quickly see how your um, scene snapshot looks, you press here this button full map and press the refresh map button and this is how it will look when you want to save it as an image. When you decide on uh, the final uh, look of your scene, you can uh, save it by accessing scene, save scene for future access and it will be saved here in this in this uh, scene tab let's just move this a little bit lower okay it will be saved in the scenes tab in this list okay um, we have been working with the predefined shapes let's clear all the shapes and let me show you how you can create custom shapes. The key point when you create uh, custom shapes is that uh, you need to tell the application that you want to create a new shape. Pressing the new shape button and when you're done you need to press the finish shape button. So I'm gonna press the new shape button and uh, I'm going to create a face I'm going to interrupt this shape group. I'm going to draw the eyes. I'm going to create the nose. And now I'm going to create the mouth. And just to see how what we have so far, I'm going to press this button. And here it is. If I don't like what I have so far, I'll close this shape and uh, bring a few more modifications. For example, I can bring the corner here and let's see how it looks now. Hmm. I can also make the eyes round by selecting this 
let's see now and I'm going to do this to the nose and also to the mouth to change the color I'll use a quick color picker and cycle for the available colors as you can see the quick color picker has um, fewer colors than the actual color picker the quick color picker does not allow for uh, setting the transparency whereas the color picker does Okay. Then um, I can also show you how you can draw on your shape. The key in drawing is that uh, you need to press this button to let the application that you want to start drawing and uh, then you must select your brush. To draw you must press uh, right click button. and to change the color you press here okay when you uh, decide on a shape and you want to save it it will be saved here in the choose shapes tab custom shapes list Thanks for watching.